Everything you see here was created in a previous video called Shooting in Game Lab. You have a little uh, ship on the bottom that moves left and right with the left and right keys, and when you hit the space bar, it shoots. And we have uh, nine different bullets that come, and they all interact with the cat just to jump into a new location. If you want to see how to make this, um, it, the video is called Shooting in Game Lab. Game Lab. It has three big views so far, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, and in this one, I want to show you how to make a health bar for the cat that um, that decreases every time you get shot. So the first thing I want to do is um, make a sprite called health bar. I'll stick that up here. Actually, I'm going to call it cat health. And I'll go ahead and give it an animation, even though we haven't drawn it yet. And I also need to make a variable. Uh, actually, let's make these called cat bar. Cat bar, and the variable will be cat health. And for this example, I'm going to give him health of four, meaning he can get hit four times before he dies. Uh, and then what we're going to do is actually draw that bar. So here are the sprites I've already used. I'm just going to draw a new one, and I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on how it should look. You could measure out the exact pixels. But I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so I've got myself a little box and I want to divide it into four sections. I'm not going to be exact about this. Okay. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. I think this one's a bit skinny. And then uh, I'm going to call this R4, because this is going to be when he has full health. And I'm just going to paint bucket all these green. Full health. And I think I'll go ahead and crop it too, so that I don't have any of that extra space around it. Now I'm going to duplicate and call this one R3. And then I'm just going to paint bucket one of these reds, so he's been hit once. I'll duplicate and do bar two, and paint bucket another. You see what I'm going at here. Uh, this one's going to be bar one, and do one more duplicate. This will be bar zero, and then uh, just to get yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'll get a little fancy on this one later. Okay, so back at the top where we have cat bar, now we want to set that to bar 4 because we want to start the game with full health. And I'm going to go ahead, because 200, 200 is the center of the screen, I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. So I'm going to move my mouse in this area where I want it to be and look at the X and Y coordinates that pop up. Looks like about 340 for the X value and maybe 20 for the Y value. Let's try that. Not low enough, so let's make this Y value 60. There we go. That'll work. Uh, so notice nothing's really happening. It's just a picture right now. So what we want to do is come down here and inside where we're checking if the cat touches the shots or the bullets, um, we're going to want to increment cat health if he gets shot. Cat health equals cat health. Minus one. I guess that's not increment because increments going up. That would be uh, decrement. I'm not sure if that's a word. Let's find out. Yeah, I didn't make it up. It is a word. So we're back here. So we will watch cat health and make sure that's working. So it's four right now. And when I shoot the cat, goes down to, well, it jumped down to two. Hopefully that was just a fluke and the cat was very near himself. Okay, now to make that affect this, uh, this is an inelegant way to do this, but it works. So we'll do it this way. If cat health double equals three, then we're going to set the animation of cat bar to bar three. So when we shoot him, see the bar went to three. Now we're just going to copy this and 
paste it a few times. And we're going to change both of these to two. We'll paste it again. I'm using Control C and Control V to paste. We'll do it for bar one. And Control C, Control V. One last time for bar zero. And on this, let's try it out. Okay, ooh, the cat is hiding behind the bar. That might be a problem. Um, we can just adjust the order that they are created. And I should keep that from happening the next time. Oh, I've broken something up here. There we go. Uh, so on two hits, it's still working. One is still working. Okay, so on that last one, when you get to zero, you probably want some more things to happen, like maybe game over will pop up on the screen. I'm going to add another animation for my cat himself and make him look a little bit dead. So I'm going to call this one cat underscore dead. And I'm just going to rotate him and give him some red eyes. Maybe put a big red X on top of his face. Not very elegant, but we'll at least be able to tell if it's working. So whenever we get to zero, we're going to make that happen as well. I kind of like to make him bigger too so you can see. There you go, so that part's working. The only other thing I want to do is when you get down to your uh, almost dead health bar, so when you're down to bar one, it might be cool if Zelda style uh, something blinked as like a warning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate inside of this animation, I'm going to duplicate this frame, and I need to grab that red color again, so I'm going to use my color picker make this red and then I'm going to only on one of the frames I'm going to paint bucket this and that will create this flashing animation as like a warning. We'll see that in action. One, two. And now you get the blinking like your health is almost up. And there you have it. That's how to make a health bar in GameLab on Code.org.